But I'll tell you a funny story. I, when I went and got my hair cut, um, the bloke said to me, he goes, oh, mate, geez, your, hair, your hair cut's a bit rough. You know, what happened? Did, you, did your wife cut your hair? And I said, no, I came here three weeks ago. <laughs> G'day everyone, Pete Techman Coming here for another exciting episode of The Tech Effect. I'm here in New York and my good friend, Mark, the bearded tech skin, is in his protected homeland of Queensland. <laughs> <laughs> Borders close. Yeah, you know, mate. <laughs> You're I'm looking, great, Mark. You're looking beautiful. Have you, have you, had, um, have you had your hair cut recently? Um, like I had it a few, a few weeks ago. No, not, no. But I'll tell you a funny story. I, when I went and got my hair cut, um, the bloke said to me, he goes, oh, mate, geez, your, hair, your hair cut's a bit rough. You know, what happened? Did, you, did your wife cut your hair? And I said, no, I came here three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yeah, why well, you should never say anything like that. Exactly, exactly. So, um, yeah, look, I mean, we're on opposite sides of the world, uh, but even if we were in the same country, we still couldn't physically be together with all the coronavirus, borders closed, everything, the world's turned upside down. We are separated, Pete. It's just We are. Whatever, whichever way you want to look at that, we are separated. So... Uh, but look, you know what's great about um, what we do is that uh, Tell me. we have technology on technology our Technology conquers all. Conquers all, and especially um, especially this fantastic Zoom, right? Oh, have you seen their share prices of late, by the way? I, no, oh, I mean, when you say of late, what, in the last week, or are you talking about the last six months since well, the... the last six months, right? They floated oh. 18 months ago yeah. or something like that, 60 bucks, and now they're like 260. And yeah, actually, watching. I think they... I think they floated lower than that. I think they were 30 or $40 when they floated and then it went 70 and then the whole pandemic hit. And it's, I think they, I, last time I saw it, it was like 170. Oh yeah. I think they're at two, 265. I think last time I checked. What? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just keep on going. I was just, surely they're going to be capped, but anyway, that's, uh, that's missed uh, opp- another missed opportunity. Another missed opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not, let's not get into the stock market for missed opportunities. <laughs> We can no, that's talk right. about that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, but, you know, obviously with the coronavirus, everyone, everyone's life has changed. Uh, people are working from home these days, but, you know, technology, I mean, supports that, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, and um, it's a great segue. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad you said that, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> what, what technology are you using, Mark? I mean, like for working from home and what, what, what have you got? It's almost like we set that up, isn't it? So, um, yeah. <laughs> who'd have thought? Um, I said, one, of the, one of the companies, actually two companies, I reckon, at the moment that have... Um, yep. What are they? What's the cl- the current term? Pivoted, pivoted well. Pivoted, you know, right? Sort of yep. So, mm-hmm. uh, well, I don't know if they were pi- they've actually pivoted or they just jagged the timing, and that's Black Magic. Yeah. Um, Australian company. Yeah. Uh, and the other one is Road Road Mike. So yeah, another um, Australian company. Yeah, another Australian company, right? And and Black Magic have bought out, and I'm just gonna because I have the technology. Okay. Black here's Magic, one I prepared earlier. Here's one I prepared a little earlier. <laughs> Look this at that little box here, right? This, this yes. was released in. Um, I, I really. This is why I think they jagged it. This was released in October last year, right? This is the right. eight M Mini, right? It's yep. four HDMI inputs, mm-hmm. um, and it's a USB output, USB C, mm-hmm. and presents to your computer like a camera, like a USB peripheral, right? As, as one device, right? It's a, it's device. a USB bridge. Yeah, yeah, USB bridge yeah. with with a yeah. with a broadcasting switcher type front end to it. No, nice. what's great about it? What I love about it is all the processing is done here because yeah. it's a dedicated device gotcha. and not on your computer. You know, which is yeah. um, Zoom's using resources, Chrome's using resources, blah 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 blah. Yeah. Right? And Zoom's Makes fairly sense. heavy on the re- old resource department. Um, mm-hmm. I think a lot with Zoom of late, and it's fairly, it runs your CPU pretty hard. Um, yep. So. I'm actually just using this. This is a GoPro Hero Three, um, right? But, but this this bad boy here, um, this comes out. It's like seven hundred ninety nine bucks, right? It's yep. cheap as it's cheap as cheap for the home Aussie market. Dollars. But, sorry, Aussie dollars. Aussie dollars. Yeah, I think it's yeah, like yeah. four ninety five US or something along those lines. Okay. Um, 
but they've also released the Mini Pro, mm -hmm. um, which was done about, I don't know, two months ago. And What's that allows you between? to save to a USB um, hard drive so you can record yep. any, any sort of recording that you're doing. You can also yep. stream live to YouTube or, um, or Facebook, anything, I think it's RTSP. Okay. Real-time streaming protocol. So uh, really cool. But last week, what's yeah. really cool is they bought out the Atom Mini ISO. Right. And, and the Atom Mini do? ISO means all these feeds that you put in here, one, two, three, yeah. four, can yep. be saved as an individual feed. Uh, oh, sorry, okay. saved as an individual recording. Probably a better way. Ah, oh, right. Okay. What yeah. internally, like within the unit? Ah, uh, no. You just throw your um, your USB. Uh, uh, okay, storage device. Yeah, storage device, and away you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then it obviously fades out and cuts smoothly and all that sort of stuff. And it's got two audio inputs. I just think Blackmagic have really done a great job, and 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 the timing is perfect. Yeah. And it's allowing people to work from home. Yeah, uh, because it's really not that hard to put together. Pretty well out of the box, you can get up and going. Um, no, nice. software that makes it nice and um, you know tweak it up a little bit and different things like that. But um, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool bit of bit of kit. Um, and like so. you say, like Rode have got some good stuff coming out. I, I recently bought the um, the NTG USB microphone, and I I forgot to bring it home to actually hook it up today so i've got the the airpods pro in but uh so next time i'll make sure that we've got that hooked up but they've got some really nice mixes as well Audio mixes. A, uh was it the podcast pro or something like yeah. that yeah yeah it's a great little mixer and that um yeah. that presents you throw your you know your good quality mics into that uh, yeah. xlrs and different things and that can also present to your computer as a usb peripheral yeah so you could uh i think it does four mics does four mics, you could run a podcast on it. Well, what do you know? Fancy that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, anyway, moving on. Um, yes. Yeah. CES, Pete, you're, one of your favourite shows, is it not? Not one of my favourite, my favourite show, the favourite show for me. I love it. Amazing, amazing show. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's been cancelled. Well, it's been cancelled in person, like the actual event. They're doing an online version instead. Right. And how, how well do you think that's going to go? It's not the same. I mean, but, you know, I, I, well, the thing is, I mean, I feel a bit sorry for them. And I feel sorry for all these organisations, you know, Infocom or Avixar and, you know, I mean, having to cancel all their shows. Uh, the only choice that they have is to do an online version. Uh, even Integrate, same thing, yeah. right? Integrate in Australia there, uh, you know, that, that's been cancelled. So they're doing a sort of an online version. I, you know, look, a part of it, especially with Integrate, Integrate is, is very much about networking, right, and catching up with people in the industry. It's the one time that we all get together. Um, but CES is just all the latest and greatest technology. And um, sure, look, you can sort of do your research online and check it all out, but it's, it's just not the same. It doesn't have it, – it just you can't replicate that buzz, you know, walking the aisles and seeing – you know, some amazing technology right there in front of you. Yeah, yeah, that, that, and that's the stuff that because you you don't even plan that you're walking. You know, what is this? And you walk in and you go, oh, that is really, really cool. And I could see how this could apply and uh, different things like that. Yeah. So in, but, in the but world, that's that, excitement of CS. Right? Yeah. That, that, that I like honestly, like I, I, my priority at CS is to walk every single aisle, right? Just because I don't, I it's it's FOMO. Right, fear of missing out. I don't want yeah. to be walking on. I don't want to sort of, you know, sort of uh, get to the end of the show and someone says, "Did you see this?" And I was like, "No, I missed it." Right. So yeah. I, I want to. I think that's I, normally what you say to me at every show. Did you see that? I, I do say that. <laughs> <laughs> did, oh, did you did see I, that? I no, no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. So that's a shame. But look, I tell you, what, some some uh, good news is at the moment ISE is still going ahead. So it's going to be the first year in Barcelona. So obviously, ironically, they were moving from Amsterdam because the, you know, the place was, the venue wasn't big enough. And you and I were there uh, earlier this year and you could see that, you know, it was that capacity. They're out in the car park with temporary stands, all that kind of thing. Yeah. So they go, all right, we're going to move to Barcelona. 
Mm. But, you know, I mean, look, you, numbers are going to have to be down. I mean, people are going to still, I think, be fearful of travelling, you know. But... Do you think they'll be fearful? Or do you think, like, I, I think the challenge could be um, that, like in Australia, yeah, for me, I'm going, if I've got to go back and spend um, two weeks in, in a hotel at my own expense. Well, yeah. Well, that actually, that's a, that's a really good point. I mean, that, that, I, yeah. Because with all the quarantine orders, uh, restrictions that all the countries have got in place, yeah. uh, you know, it's one thing to go there for a week and then you come back and you've got to be in quarantine for two weeks if those restrictions are still in place at that point in time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet, uh, the, on the flip side of that, I think people just want to get out as well. Like, uh, you know, especially because... Of course. And I think in the um, in any game, but certainly in, in, in the technology game and, and most of the people... Um, in the shows and the people that go to the shows, often they're, they're in the sales world, right? And um, sure. salespeople uh, are, are typically, and I'm generalizing massively, because uh, <laughs> that's what I do, but uh, they're, they're people people, right? And and yeah. actually, like when I was locked down for four weeks, man, I could not get out of the house quick enough. Like yeah. those four walls well, closed in. You're really a people good. person though. You're, you're, you're a man of the people. Uh, is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Don't think about that. Um, well, and you're not, you're a people person. You love people. No, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm very much an introvert, believe it or not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hang, hang. That's what's going on here. <laughs> That's right. That's why we work so well. <laughs> yeah, extrovert, extrovert with a beard and a hat and uh, introvert here with a black t-shirt crave, on. I don't crave attention at all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Not me. <laughs> uh, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> uh, for anyone who's watching around the world, yep. look at me. Is uh, go and watch Captain Kim. We all know what's going on about that. Yeah, yeah. Look <laughs> at me. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Pete. Um, so this, yes, is is the, is some sort of the new format going forward for us, right? Because yes. you're, you're in you're in beautiful New York. At, at what sort of temperature is it over there? Look, every day it's been like mid. 30s every day right and that obviously for our uh, our our metric fans around the world right so i don't know what that is in fahrenheit it's like high 80s 90s, 90s something think, like that yeah. yeah yeah so it's uh it's been pretty warm high humidity uh yeah which is nice you know like in, in one respect um so yeah so it's good so i'm making use of the of the pool downstairs yeah, yeah. so it's good and what's it like what's What's this stuff? What's what's it like over there? It's going to be cool, huh? Oh, look, no, it's actually been really nice. The last week, um, the last week's been really good. We're we're in you know in August, right? So um, it's a it's actually a false sense of security that that ended oh, really? early August puts you in. You have that really like week of ten days where it's beautiful, and then you get smashed with a cold get, wind. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, it's it's nearly it would have been Echo, but Echo's been cancelled, right? So oh um, right, yes, yes. So all that you know that cold wind stuff that would normally happen through Eka and um, yeah. we'll get that. I think it's going to start probably end of this week and then 10 days. And then once you get through that 10 days, mate, she's smooth sailing all the way. Well, spring, spring, summer, spring, beautiful. Summer. Get out there, live life and uh, soak up the race. Oh, mate, they've just got to open up the borders for you. Yeah. That's all right. I look, <laughs> hey, I bought a Harley. I bought a Harley not that long ago. I, so, um, saw, I saw some photos. That looks amazing. Uh, yeah, all I've got to do, I've only got to do five Ks. I only do a loop and I'm stopping for <laughs> beer and then ride home. Life's, life's pretty good on a Sunday. <laughs> Mate, you're doing it tough, right? You're having to go up there for swimming in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> pool didn't cost me anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, uh, <laughs> So look, anyway, it's um it's been good to chat. We're going to do this on a fairly yep. uh, fairly regular basis. Yeah, yeah, we're going to catch up. You know, as I said, we you know, we can't be there in person. That doesn't stop us from still being connected and uh, connecting with the people and talking about technology on the tech effect. We're all about the people and technology, aren't we? All about the people and technology. It's Introverted, all about extroverted people. Yeah, that's technology. it. A whole lot. We connect. Hey. We connect with everybody. <laughs> Hey, mate, it's been good to chat and uh, we'll catch up with you soon, eh? Sounds great. Great to see you again, mate. You too. Take care. Take care. See you, mate. Bye. See you, mate.